Okay, hey guys, how are you? All right, so I am, um, I haven't edited it yet, but as of the filming of this right now, I just got done filming this cute little um, simple watercolor um, inspired by Ian Jackson's um, weekly art challenge over in our My Year 2017 Facebook group. If you don't know about the group, the description is in the, I'm sorry, the description, <laughs> the link is in the description below. And um, I have some videos here on my channel. If you just search hashtag my year 2017, they should come up. Um, it's all about the year long journaling program. I'm sure if you're a regular watcher of your, my channel, you've seen them already. Um, if not, it's really fun. Join us. Um, anyway, I really wanted to just do a quick little watercolor of the cat face um, picture that he posted to inspire us all to do a painting. And it really, looking at the picture, it was just a square picture of a close-up of, I guess, his cat's face. And um, it just kind of looked to me like it was a cat trying to stick its head through a hole in the fence or a hole in the wall. So that's kind of how I painted it because I thought that was really cute. I did use some Christmas presents to do it, um, which I swatched here on the opposite page. So for Christmas, I got a set of Derivan liquid pencil paints, and um, I already had the art graph that I got right before Christmas, which is a water-soluble graphite, a watercolor graphite. Um, and then I also got a little small five-color set of some M. Graham paints, which you guys have been asking about for me to um, try. And I decided to get this particular set, which is the Desert Southwest Desert Southwest watercolor set um, because I thought it would be good to maybe compare them to my um, Daniel Smith muted palette. They um, remind me of similar uh, similar colors. Um, here's the Daniel Smith palette. Not only do they remind me of similar colors, I thought I thought they would um, lend themselves very nicely to this palette, and I may try to squeeze them in here in the middle in some half pans if I can get some half pans in there because um, I thought they would go really well in here. Anyway, so I swatched them all on this page and then I used them to paint our little cat face. Now, when I did these, I knew it was going to be a big experiment. I wasn't sure it was going to turn out. I did like the way it turned out. And again, the video for, it's just a speed through video, but the video of me doing this, um, I have to edit it, but it should be up on the channel. If you're watching this, it's already up, so look for it. Um, when I was prepping to do the video, I knew I wanted to take the graphite paint and um, squeeze some of them out into one of these little disposable 99 cent um, inexpensive little six well palettes. I got these at Hobby Lobby and I used them for trying these paints. These are the M. Graham paints. These are the liquid, um, what do they call them again? Liquid pencils uh, paints. And um, now the M. Graham paints are the binder, I believe, is honey. So that means they stay like tacky, like they're not, I wouldn't call them wet, but you could see it stick to my finger there. They're definitely tacky, so they never really like dry down completely. That being said, the colors are beautiful. And if you're willing to kind of put up with that, um, they're gorgeous. You know, they're not wet, they're not gonna fall out. Um, and I'm not gonna waste this, I'm not gonna wash this out. I will leave this like this and we'll, we'll use it the way it is. Um, the liquid pencil paints come like this. There's 12 tubes. Six of them are permanent. Six are rewettable. I don't know exactly what that means. I would assume that means after they're dry, the permanent ones, you can't move them, and the rewettable ones, you can. Um, the rewettable formula will allow you to remove areas using water in a similar manner to watercolor techniques, or it is possible to use with a traditional eraser. So I thought, okay, that's interesting, but if I let them dry in the palette, does that also mean they're rewettable this way in the palette? Like, could you make a graphite palette with these paints and let them dry like you do watercolor, and then could you rewet them? Because I thought that would be really interesting to even take these six and these five and do a, a, a palette with these paints together in them. I thought that would be more interesting than adding these to the Daniel Smith palette. So. A long story short is we're going to try that right now. These are completely dry, if you can see. They're they're like bone dry. So we're actually going to try them. Now, the um, this is a Faber-Castell brush. 
that I actually got with some water soluble pencils that I also got for Christmas. I've got a little scrap of um, some cold press, is this cold press? Soft press watercolor paper. This is Fabriano. And let's just try it. Oop, the answer is yes. Yes, they do. So that's gray three. This is gray nine, which is darker, obviously. They actually re-wet very nicely. And I'm just using plain old tap water at the moment. This is sepia. I'm not using tap um, water with anything, any ox gall or anything in it. This is yellow, yellow graphite. So the graphite color, these graphite paints are slightly tinted with a color. This is red. The blue is really pretty. I use the blue in the cat's eyes. And then this is the blue. So there you go. They are definitely rewettable. So you definitely could make a palette with the rewettable paints. They give a really interesting, unique color here. And they really, if you can see, let's see, there we go. They really give a unique color. They, I love the kind of granulating, um, pigments you get they really are sinking into the the texture of the paper I really love the way they look I can definitely see adding these graphite paints to my repertoire of things going forward and yes I know I mispronounced that word um, but I'm really going to be enjoying using them so look forward to them on upcoming watercolor Wednesdays live I am going to try to find a palette box to put them in I'm sure I have one around here somewhere and uh, yeah they're going to be a lot of fun uh, that's it for right now. I have some more videos to film and uh, paint, paints to play with. And I will talk to you all later. Don't forget to support my channel as if you can by uh, going to the YouTube channel's main page and hitting that fan funding button or shopping in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. Uh, don't, and the most important thing of all things, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.